Hello guys, it is Marcus. I am going to show you <clears throat> how to get Terraria to output error logs, which was recently added in 1.3.5.1. So well, the first thing you want to do is if you have Steam on and you have Terraria on it, go ahead and right click it, go to properties, and in the tab that you're already in, select set launch options, and copy over this parameter which will be available in the video below it's dash log errors and dash log file go ahead and put it in say close and start terraria now what it'll do is it will track logs of anything and everything that should come up as an error it'll be located in your documents folder under my games terraria logs and you'll start seeing a very long numbered file and as you are using Terraria you should come up with an error and if you do it will be in here you cannot access this file while Terraria is running so you know make sure to close it and then open it and you've got your error here go ahead and copy it and when you're doing an error report go ahead and send it to us so let me just quickly re cap on what you got to do if you have it on Steam just right click properties set launch options and go ahead and put that right in there and say OK and close now should you have the game not on Steam and you have it let's say on your operating system instead like GOG copy you'll want to go to your Terraria folder Go ahead and delete this. Now this is of course Windows, it's different for the other two, but if you know how to do it in general, it should be no problem. Go ahead and create a new shortcut. And like any program that you want to run with a parameter, right click the shortcut, go to properties, and at the end of the target that you want to use, which is Terraria, you put the exact same parameters in there, apply it, hit OK, now just to prove that it has nothing to do with Steam, I'm going to go ahead and delete it from here and launch the shortcut. Now that the shortcut has actually been started, the log file should be created just the same way. Let's go ahead and uh, go to multiplayer, go in there, go into a random server and let's double check our documents folder and there it is the second log file again you can't open this because it is currently in use you can open the old one now we close Terraria same way we did before open it up and you have your log so if you're using no steam version which is the GOG copy make sure you create a shortcut and pop in that extra parameter if you're using the steam use the steam method now as for the other two, which is Mac and Linux, uh, the method exactly isn't described in here because I don't use, I don't have that operating system. But if you do know how to do the basic way of adding a parameter to any kind of server you're hosting, it's the same method. Just make sure that when you run it, you run it with those parameters. So as always guys, don't be a dick, hit escape and quit. These are just simple instructions on how to get the log output for Terraria. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or go to the forums on Terraria TCF and we'll try to help you out. Until next time, everybody.